doing today um, today I will be showing you how to change your spectrum and Medusa piercing um, I've been having my Medusa piercing for like almost like a year and a half now and I had my spectrum piercing right here which is nose piercing for like almost a year almost a year it'll be a year in March so today I will be showing y'all how to do that but before that you know what you need to do y'all hit that like button Help a sister out, honey, because sister need a little likes on her videos. You feel me? You know how YouTube be. So, let's go ahead and get into this. First, I'm going to change my Medusa piercing. I already sanitized my hands, washed my hands and stuff like that. Make sure your hands are clean before you change any of your piercings. So, you won't get no affections, none of that yucky stuff in it, you know, anything like that. So, make sure that you do that first, okay? So... Usually when I change my Medusa piercing, which is this right here, I usually change it just by twisting it, but having my tongue like this, and then twisting it this way, which is like clockwise the other way, not this way, the other way. And it's pretty simple like that. And then you see, that's the ball. Very simple to do. And the stick I have to take out, which I usually, when I do this, come a little bit closer. I use my teeth and I pull it down. So, since I took that out, I have my cotton swabs right here that I usually use to clean my piercings for my lip and my nose, which you can use, you know, cotton ear swabs or whatever for pretty much anything as for cleaning stuff. So with this, you usually, I use this product right here, which is Urban Relief Piercing Solution Sea Salt Tea Tree Oil Aftercare. I use that, it works really good. I know you probably can't see it because of the light, but it works real good. There you go. It works real good. So usually I pour some on the cotton swabs like this, which I'm going to pour it over this little bowl so it won't spill on the floor. And the cotton swabs are wet. Okay. And this is what I do because I found this out to be really helpful. You see all this gook stuff that usually be on there, on your lip? I usually use a little hand mirror, which I got today, my old faithful. <laughs> and wipe it off like this. I make sure I clean it real good. Okay, I actually look underneath my lip. I got thick lips. I usually look underneath my lips and I'll see right here to make sure everything is good. Cause you wanna make sure that your piercing is not effing up your lip behind your lip and leaving them work. Cause when I first got the piercing, I had the bore too short and it was embedding in my lip. Oof, which was bad. It made a little tissue come out, whatever. I don't know what it was. But, yeah, that's why I use long bars for the jury to make it better. So, I pretty much clean that. Clean, you see that hole? That's how, I, that's how you know somebody had a piercing for a long time. That hole be deep as a mud. <laughs> but, um... That's how you clean it. Then I take a wet wipe, and no matter which wipe, take that, turn this light down a little bit, take that, use that for that. 
get this wet wipe right here and I go underneath my lip and you make sure I get underneath and clean underneath there see and that's how you do that and with my new piercing I got which is gonna be like a greenish rainbow turquoise jewelry that I'm gonna put on for my Medusa which is real cute I love trying different jewelry for your piercing as for um, all of that. I love that kind of stuff. I usually clean it off with the white before I put it inside my mouth, my piercing. Uh, like I told you, I don't play. Blow it a little bit. Now, with this, if you're a beginner and you just took your piercing out and you're trying to do it the first time and you're trying to put it back in there, pretty much your piercing is going to heal back really quick because it's your first time close up really quick because it'll be your first time taking it out your mouth and putting a new piercing in when you first get it pierced. You're supposed to wait four to six weeks um, before you change your piercing jewelry. Uh, pretty much I waited for four weeks because my lip piercing healed quick for my spectrum I did I waited for like six weeks because I was scared about that I didn't know if you supposed to change it right away or whatever I didn't know the rules with that and it's my nose like okay my lips you know that heal back up quick but nose is a different story for new beginners you could put it in like this the back part and you stick it in like that when the hole close up and then wiggle it around and try to open up that hole again or you could put it like how you're supposed to put it behind your lip like this and then push with your thumb you know this is the ball make sure you put that little hole that little hole right there I have to go directly on that because if you don't do it then you're screwed And it's gonna be more easy it's gonna be easier if you don't have nails but I got nails and I got fake nails on so <laughs> I always use that time use that tone hmm and I push it like that and see that's a different ball which is a bigger but I love big gulky jewelry anyway when it comes to necklaces, earrings, and stuff like that. So this might be too big for you, but you finna see I finna change it anyway. So that's the Medusa piercing change. And now we finna change his nose piercing real quick. And make sure you screw it tight because you don't want to lose your balls. And you screw it this way. When you screw it, you're screwing it this way. Now, I know with some jewelry, it could be different, or some jewelry, it cannot be different, but... Okay, on to the special pushing, which, it's a ring, and which I'm gonna change it with this silver ring right here. That's what I'm gonna change the special piercing to. Well, the, the clipper thing, they usually be... I'm trying to find that. There you go. I unclip that joker with my hands. And then, my car. See? It's open now. And you just take it out. Just like that. And that's how it looks when it's open. But back to that. See right here? Now it's time for me to get the cotton swabs. Put some of the cleaning solution on, which I got. Wipe it all. And which this piercing, see? This piercing right here. Which I'll see if I can do it like that. See how that dirt on there? It don't matter how many times you clean this piercing, the nose piercing, it's just gonna be dirt. I, I, I realized that a long time ago. 
And at first I thought it was me, but I'm like, no, it's not me. Cause I clean it each day, but it's just that nose piercing gonna be dirty. If you have a nose piercing and you have that same problem and you clean your nose piercing each day, like, and you still have dirt on it, like, or if you don't, like, leave a comment below because I, I need to know, like, I'm the only one that be dealing with that problem. I'll be like, what the crap? Like, I clean my piercings each day. Now we finna open up this new one, this new hoop. It's a clip. Open it like that. See? Perfect. And then we gonna stick it in this hole. We gonna find it somewhere. Pray to God I find it quick. Cause this one will close up on you quick. That's the difference between um, the lip piercing and this spectrum piercing because like, let me see if I can feel for it. Give me a second. I usually try to feel for it. There I go. See, when you feel for it, it's more quicker. I noticed that. I know you're not supposed to feel for it, but when you feel for that hole in your nose, especially my nose is thick. It's real. It's real better to feel for it. And then you snap it. Like that. You hear that snap? And then you're done. And that's how you put a ring in and a Medusa piercing. Spectrum Medusa. And it's looking cute. And I like how when I smile, it look like a dumbbell piercing like all in one. But it's not. And that's how you do it, sweetheart. Until next video. See you guys later, honey. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe. I will appreciate it. Thank you.